Hey everyone and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to talk about websites. So as you all know JavaScript frameworks are becoming more and more popular and new JavaScript frameworks are becoming fast, powerful and as you all know people are using them instead of using HTML, CSS or JavaScript. Now obviously it's nothing wrong to use things like uh, JavaScript frameworks like React, Vue, Next.js but the problem comes when it comes production when you release your website that's written in react for example it looks really slow the experience is going to be horrible because i actually created a website in react which i don't really have now i still have i guess the next js so if i go into my documents and see so this is uh, the one that's written in uh, next js let me launch this right here and now uh, if I go into the URL So this looks pretty terrible because again, I did not really change this but I abandoned this project the HTML one It loads instantly, but yeah, it took a lot of time to launch because again It's using JavaScript and there are some images to load and I still have images right here as you can see I have about uh, three images some external links some icons and it's still loading, it loads much faster than this website, as you can see. It loads a lot slower, and this loads instantly, even though there are multiple images. And the reason for that is because there is JavaScript. And I'm not blaming JavaScript for everything, but at least using JavaScript for making simple websites like this is kind of a performance hit. The very first thing that I'm going to be talking about is this repo. So I created this uh, simple script which is mb 2 html with CSS. This is yet another markdown to HTML converter but with custom CSS. Now it not only supports CSS, you can, if you go down a little bit, it also supports images. So this is a note, you can see that this flag is added to this comment which allows the user to place images locally. And the reason I made this is because by default pandoc which is basically the program that i'm using to convert files doesn't support local images and that's not good because a lot of people don't want to load images directly off the internet so you want your own images and the local images are not supported by default and what i've done is looked at try pandoc and in order to add images you can go into right here as you can see this is just an md file let me show you that it works. So if I do uh, image and if I do, uh, for example, let's simply do an image and copy link, paste this, looks much better. And when I click on convert now, and you can see that now it works pretty well. But if I do the same thing with local images, let me go into convert.sh. Uh, remove this flag and uh, run this uh, command which I'm going to explain a little bit and as you can see right here it says it says that dot dot slash images slash yt thumbnails slash lunar web slash yt dash yt dot png not found in resource path and the reason for that is because pandoc by default cannot access images locally and what you have to do is add this flag and the value of colon and whatever directory you want to place all the direct, uh, of the images into and in this case I have the images directory which has all of my YT thumbnails and the profile picture of that so now when I include that it should work like uh, before and if I wait as you can see there is no error and everything works as expected now how this script works is again it uses pandoc and you also need markdown for obviously getting markdown support and I'm using github markdown for code block support which has syntax highlighting and some other stuff as well and I have CSS which I don't really find in other repos because when I checked out other repositories they don't really have CSS support inside of their scripts. And what I have to do is create this simple local variable and then go ahead and do this flag. So dash dash self contained dash dash CSS equal to this. 
Now I could change this to anything, but make sure it matches your CSS uh, style sheet. And the reason I'm including this is because if I uncomment that and this, even though it does the converting much faster because now it shouldn't apply all of the CSS styling. When I go into here, reload it, as you can see, it looks much more ugly and it doesn't look pretty good. So it's better to have a custom CSS for your blog post. Now it applies to every single blog post. So for example, if I have like another five markdown files, then all of them are going to use the same. Uh, let me show you. So all of them are going to use the same CSS files. And that's much better than, rather than having separate CSS files which could take a lot of time. Now you can obviously write this in pure HTML but the reason to write this in Markdown is because now you don't have to basically write all of these tags, you don't have to style every single HTML file and that really makes everything so much simpler. And, it, and this convert.sh works pretty easy. So if I do convert.sh uh, convert dash dash help, you can see that we get the help command. Let me go ahead and show you how it works. You do that dash dash test and the files where you want to place. For example, in this case, I want to paste them inside of the post directory. Let me delete all of these files so that I can show you that all of them work. So dash slash post and the files that I want to include, which obviously is inside of the markdown directory and I want all of the markdown files so I do asterisk dot md what this means is include all of the files that end with the dot md or markdown extension and now when I click on that this should go ahead and generate all of the files as you can see right here and I could add multiple uh, files for example test dot md I can do this is a file and I can do hello world and now I will run the same command and now you will see that there will be a test.html generated so if you wait uh, there you go so we have test.html again it's a bit slow than usual but it should not be too bad so that's pretty much how you could uh, create a simple shell script and convert it into html so I hope you enjoyed this video, even though this is a bit short than usual, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I will see you in the next one. Everything changes.